I just went out last night and um, can I just can I just express express to all of the YouTube people how much I love women. I mean, really, how much I love women. I do. They're fantastic. And I had a great night. It's Monday. It's awesome. Yes. Um, I'm Jess, your host for Mondays on the Beaver Bunch, obviously. Um, yeah, I've got some stuff. I've got some stuff that, that I'm going to talk about today. I am going to attempt to answer four. One, two, three, four, five. Five questions. I'm going to try to just do this. Do it and get it done. All right, so... Um, originally, I think we were going to do, uh, like, sentimental items in our house and, like, talk about them. I can't really say that I have any. Um, sentimental items, sentimental items. Books, lots of books. Oh, look, there's a dog. She's cute. She's sleepy. She sleeps all day, every day, all the time. And then her mom comes home, um, my roommate, and she, like, freaks out. It's awesome. She's my sidekick for today. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're going to skip the sentimental, sentimental items thing because I don't really have any. Um, politics. Somebody asked, who are we voting for? Um, well, you know, McCain's looking pretty good these days. No. Um, although, although, he's a very, very attractive man. So that might sway me. Might sway my vote. Again, no. I don't know. My biggest thing as far as politics is concerned is that there is equality among the citizens of this country. That's that's like my biggest concern. It's equality and then of course the economy and and you know all that other good stuff. Go green. Um, okay, so question number two or maybe four, I don't even know. Uh, Gaydar, do I have it? Is it reliable? And have I ever been way off? I'm sure I've been way off. Um, I don't know. I, I thought when I was younger that I had gaydar. I was like, yeah, I'm fucking gay. Of course I have gaydar. I don't think I have it anymore these days. Um, with there being such a fluidity, I guess. No, you know what? Somebody said, somebody said gender ambiguity, which I thought was like perfect. That's exactly what it is. There is a huge amount of that these days, and so you can't tell, you know? You can't tell if someone's gay, you can't tell if someone's straight, or girl, or boy, or whatever, and I love that. So, no, I don't have gaydar. Um, this, this question I thought was pretty interesting, and it's, it's, uh, it's good. It's a good question. Um, if a woman has never been with another woman, but finds herself equally attracted to both sexes, can she call herself bisexual? Um, and then the tail, like the tail end of the question is, if not, does that mean that an individual sexuality is determined solely by his or her sexual history? Okay, this is a great question. When I first came out, everybody, everybody was like, well, how do you know you're gay if you haven't slept with a girl? And it's, it's not about, it's not about sex for me. And it never really has been about sex. Um, the sex is great. I gotta say, but it's not about the sex. It's it's about the connection that you feel with a person. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter how how many people you've slept with in your past or whatever. And, and again, I think that people also really want to to like throw themselves into these boxes and say, "Well, I'm bisexual. I'm gay. I'm straight. I'm this. I'm bleh, whatever." Try to really think of it as a continuum. If you don't already know, check out the Kinsey scale. Kinsey had really fantastic ideals and they were novel. I mean, nobody was really talking about these things when he was around. So um, if you haven't heard, check out the Kinsey scale. It's, a, it's from zero to six and basically it's, it's about sexuality and you don't necessarily have to be super straight or super gay. You can just kind of fall along this continuum and yeah. So as far as answering the first part of that question um, about if a woman has never been with another woman but finds herself equally attracted to both sexes, can she call herself bisexual? She can call herself whatever she wants. Um, again, you don't have to define your sexuality by the person that you're sleeping with at that moment. That's pretty much it. I'm going to have to edit this.
Damn it. Damn it. I thought I was going to get away with it. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that random video. It was kind of weird. Um, I'm still recovering just a little bit. Yeah, so I hope you guys had a good weekend. And I start summer school tomorrow morning. That's why I went out last night. Part of the reason. Um, yeah, so uh, I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. I, I hope you have a fantastic week. And summer, yay! Summer's here, almost. <laughs>